Guys, we've had a text from Mr. Wilman. Oh God, what does it say? It said that to sort out the performance differences, we should go to a nearby airstrip where he'd laid on some competition. So we did. Chaps, this is what we're up against. BMW X5 M. 4.4 litre twin turbocharged, 567 horsepower. That is fairly serious competition. Wow, if you think about it, it's going to be Britain versus Germany. Well, not really. Mm. Your two cars are Indian and mine's German as well. All right, it's going to be India versus Germany, and I shall be victorious in my mighty, lighty Jaguar. Right. Well, you see, you won't be, not in a million years. Sorry about wasting your time with this race. You could launch a car that does a million miles an hour and costs eight pence and runs on water, and people would still buy Range Rovers. Because why would you not? OK, air conditioning is off. It's in dynamic mode. Gearbox is in sport. Come on, little Jag. So I'm not really worried about Pinky and Perky's challenge, but the BMW does worry me. Almost as much power, very obviously lighter. A lot of well-to-do people in Britain will want to know the result of this race before they choose what colour Range Rover they'd like for next year's shooting season. everybody. Come on. 150. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's he getting that from? Easy. Last. Stone dead last. Bugger it. Yes, yes. Well done, James. Oh, who knew if you spend four times as much on a car, you get one that's a tiny bit faster than another? You two just haven't got the message, have you? What, that you lost? You, yeah. Well, no, the message is very clear. Underpants, OK? You can buy a cheap pair from a market stall, or you can buy an expensive pair with gold thread in them, or you can do what everyone does, you go to Marks and Spencers. A Marks and Spencers, if you're watching this not in the UK, is where we all buy our pants from. Well, I don't. <laughs>